hey y'all welcome back to the channel where we are living and not existing i just really really feel in my spirit to share my testimony with y'all as far as why i always say in my intro hey y'all welcome back to the channel where we are living and not existing y'all like that <laughs> first off um i was talking to my parents about wanting to have like you know like a little slogan a little catchy thing you know introducing myself every time i um film a video which i think that looks nice and put together or like a real channel girl a real youtuber but um i was talking to them about it and i think mama was the one that suggested um living and not existing living and not existing is so profound for me in my life and creating youtube because I've been wanting to do YouTube since 2009. I'm keeping it 100. When I think about that, and when they said that meditating on saying that, it's not for show. It's not to sound good, even though it does. It's not for views. It's not for to hit 100K, a million, this and the other. It's literally because that's how I feel. Like, and if I feel this way, and it's a good feeling, I won't my viewers i want my subscribers i want my following to feel the same and to know the same thing for five years in my marriage i had or not the whole five years it will be five years in november but for the first few years in my marriage i lost myself in my marriage i've always been a hustler i've always just been a go-getter but when i got married all of that left marriage is hard work people don't talk about it. everybody want to get married when had all these weddings and other but to have a healthy christ-like marriage takes hard work so since i've been married i have been struggle struggle i have been struggling with myself like as far as my self-identity who i am i'm about to cry but we ain't gonna do it i feel like giving y'all this testimony as far as why my channel why i always say we are living and not existing on this channel but okay we're gonna get through this Anywho, since I've been married, I'll be married five years in November. And I love my husband. Don't, I'm not trying to downplay my husband. I live a good life. I am a substitute teacher. And I only work three days a week. Because God blessed me with such a good husband that can hold it down. And we're able to live the way we want to. We, Of course, we want more. But we don't hurt for nothing. If I want a bag, I can get a bag. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I live a good life. And I know that's only because of God. So I'm not downplaying my husband and oh i have a wonderful husband i get i start to cry thinking about and talking about my husband i love him so much you know but being married trying to be what i need to be or be what i need to be as a wife for myself girl i've lost myself in my marriage when we first got married we were trying to have kids and um i always knew because i've been with my husband girl over 10 10 years and we've if y'all understand, since 2009. And <laughs> we got married in 2017. So, when we first got married, we were trying to have kids. Me and him really want a family. That's our, like, number one goal every year. When we set up to do our vision board, that's always number one. We really want a family. So, we we knew I had issues. So, when, I, when we got married on our honeymoon, I made my doctor's appointment um, to go through the process of kind of trying to have kids. Went to the doctor in January to um, get started. He immediately started me on clothing, all that stuff like that, which you that's not typical if you just get married because they want you to try a year. But because of my history, my doctor went ahead and done it. So we finally got pregnant um, after a year of being, was it a year of being married? Yeah. After a year, almost a year of being married, we finally got pregnant and we didn't know. I was like two months pregnant and didn't know. To my fertility specialist to get back on my fertility aid and took a pregnancy test, you know, routine and found out I was pregnant in a doctor's office. That was a whole nother day. I text my husband, like how these people be keeping it from their husband? I don't know. I text Randy that day, like, girl, we've been through so much, I had to let him know. That um, ended up being a tubercle pregnancy and I had to go into emergency surgery with the removal of my right fallopian tube. Yes, real life. I had one fallopian too. So that happened. And I was like, I'm not going to let this keep me down. I got back up. I started doing hair, which I was a hairstylist. And I did not, I have not liked doing hair ever. 
but I made so much. Girl, I made good money doing it. So, and I was good at doing it, so why not do it? But it never brought me joy like this does. And I ain't even getting paid on here. And a year after that, during COVID, my husband, me and my husband, I thought I was getting better because I was losing weight. I lost 40 pounds. Like my weight had gone up after like, girl, it's an ultrasound at six weeks. There was nothing there. Thought I could get, thought I was getting through that. Kept telling myself, oh, I'm fine. I'm getting through. I'm good. Da, 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 da. But when you know yourself and you know your ways are not the same, I would not work. I stopped taking uh, clients. I would barely take clients. Girl, I was maybe doing one client a week. Coming from doing six or seven people a week to doing one person a week, one person a week, two people a week, that turned in four people a month. Like, that just kept going on to where I was just staying in the house. I wouldn't do nothing. And I honestly did not realize that I was basically deep, deep, deep depressed. Then in 2021, we just stopped trying to have a baby. We stopped trying to do all that stuff. I didn't even want to think about it. I didn't get back on no medicine. I didn't even go to a fertility, fertility specialist. Girl, I was just done with the doctors. Then 2021, I, my car was towed off. I was in a uh, hit from behind at full force while I was at a stop and he just told me up, girl, towed out my Lexus and I love my Lexus. My husband gave me that car. It was paid for. It was pretty. I was bougie in it. Girl, I love my Lexus. You know, I felt like I was coming out, but girl, that happened and I was just like, ugh. And so I, my daddy, before that, months before that, my daddy had had a really good talk with me. And um, my parents are the type of parents that, it don't matter how old you get, they're gonna tell you about yourself. So, my daddy had had a really good stern talk with me. And, um, you know, I was just like, okay, I'm gonna do it, but I wasn't. And after the car accident, my daddy had another good talk with me. And I, for myself, just made sure to pray and put all my trust in God. Pray and put all my trust in God. We go on a fast at my church um, in the beginning of January for however many days that God leads pastors to tell us to be on a fast for. And this fast, I have never taken one of our fasts at church as serious as I took this fast because I wanted my life back. I wanted me back. I wanted myself back. Girl, I'm getting choked up. Just, I'm just. When I say I got divine instructions from God to do certain things when it came to my marriage, when it came to myself, and we are now in September, and I can say that when I tell y'all to live and not exist, live and not exist. I have been existing in my life since I've gotten uh, married. And I am no longer existing. I live, I'm not where I wanna be in life, but I am 100% happy. Like, to be able to say that and it shows, people tell me that all the time. To be able to say that and it shows and people can see that you're genuinely happy and people around me know how bad me and Randy want to have a family. But to know that that has not kicked me, y'all, that kicked me for so long. That kicked me for so long. And one way of, even with me and my happiness, I knew I could no longer do hair anymore. I just could not. Like, that did not make me happy. I knew I wanted to do YouTube. I started a YouTube channel in October of last year. I got my Heart's Desire car, my Mercedes Benz, in um, last year in October. And I got on the praise. I'm in on my church praise team, which is something I never really wanted to do. But to serve him in gladness and be on that praise team makes me happy. I'm here to say, I don't say to live and not exist um, for attention or to sound good or to stand out from all the other channels. I say it because I've been through it. I have been in a place where I felt like, why am I even still trying or why are things not working out for me 
the way it works out for other people. What have I done? Why does this happen to me? Feeling less than a woman, feeling less than a person, feeling like a loser, fit having a give up mentality, letting fear control my life for so long to where the point to the point that I never even attempted to do anything with YouTube, just talk big talk about it because I felt like, oh, I'll never this and people won't watch me or this and other. I do what makes me happy. God has got me to the place to where I can come on here and girl, do what I want to do, not even get paid for it and love it. Where I was doing hair for a living, making good money and hated it. Like I had to let that go. So every day I get up to go substitute my three days out of the week, girl, I'd be happy because you know what? I, re I am happier doing that than doing what I was doing. See, you cannot let people make you feel like in, in, in today's society, in today's world, that sounds crazy because people think about, oh, what people going to say about me? Girl, I don't give a rat's behind. At first I did, I was like, dang, I don't have, because seven is a way to still make my own schedule and still just be able to pursue my dreams, my goals and, and this, that and the other. But I did think in the beginning, oh, what would people say? Da, 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 da. Girl. I don't even rest behind what nobody got to say about me because at the end of the day, God has got me to a place to where I am truly happy. Despite the things that are not going the way I want them to go, I'm just happy. And when you, when you feel good, you want to look good. When you look good, you want to keep going. You want to keep doing stuff. You want to live. You don't just want to sit in your sorrows and be depressed and talk that bit boy talk like you are happy like you just that and other when you know you ain't that's that's what i'm trying to get to y'all so living and not existing it's not for show it's not for blase blase it is because i am truly in a place where i can say and let y'all know i have been in a place where i was existing in life and i am truly living but the thing about living i'm not where i want to be like i'm completely happy in life but i'm not where i want to be like it's a lot of people cannot say that. A lot of people can say it and lie. Yes, those things, when those things happen, because I am going to get pregnant, I will uh, get a bigger home. I will have, make more money. I will hit my goals on YouTube. I will hit my goals in my career. Like, that's going to happen. But in the meantime, as I, he continues to elevate me, y'all, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy in my marriage. Me and my husband have gotten closer. Like, I was messing up my marriage. Girl, I can go into a whole other spill, but I ain't gonna do it. I am truly happy. But in order to live and not exist, you gotta want it. You gotta want it. You gotta hear from Christ. You gotta know what, and follow his instruction and his direction into where he leads, wants you to be. Like, what I do, and I, this is something I didn't even want to deal with on my channel, but I feel like my channel is bigger than me. So I really want to just explain that because I know I get on here saying it and sometimes to me I feel like it sounds like she just says it to for it to sound good. But this is just a part of my life to live and not just exist because we all go through things in life. Girl, I'm getting choked up. We all go through through things in life that will make us feel like um we're just here. We're just going through the flow, going through the motions, going through the whatever, whatever. No, no, no more. And if I say no more for me, then y'all, my viewers, my subscribers, no more for y'all. We are living and not existing. We are going to enjoy life despite the things that go on. I go, I'm going to continue to stress the fact that I'm not where I want to be in life. Things have not been turning out for me the way I desire for them to turn out. But I am still happy. I have, for the past three months, been on fertility aid to get pregnant, and it has not worked. But I show up because I know God will keep his promise for me. What he told me won't fail. It won't fail. He has never lost a battle, and it won't fail. I'm telling y'all, I feel in my spirit to share my tell a little bit. <laughs> A little bit of my testimony, but just to give y'all a background of why I say this. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Like I said, I did not even plan on sharing any of my testimony with y'all, but I wanted to just let y'all know why I say we are living and not existing because it's real personal for me. Um, it's personal for me. And I want it to be personal for you to say when situations occur, 
and things ain't going right because girl i'm telling you that's just life that we can all say we are living and not existing we ain't gonna fight every single day to stay happy no matter what god is good i praise god for just having this feeling because everybody can't say that they actually have this feeling but i can say i do and i want y'all to be able to say the same thing but like always thank y'all so much for watching don't forget live and not exist and i'll see y'all in the next one bye y'all